we are back with another video now this is an outdated video i'll explain so over a week ago i made some footage in the ptr comparing the differences between using augments and not using augments as well as showcasing one particular stat one particular augment on all of the items to kind of compare it between those now keep in mind since this footage there has been a visual update on the precise augment which is what i use in this video so even though there has been some slight modifications to the precise the I essence the essence of this video still holds true in today's video, I am using the Phoenix Blade of Nolgath 2 as my weapon. I am also using the entire Lotus Defender Helm minus the cape, which I am using the legendary Swift Aqua Soldier cape. And that is what I'm going to be using in this video because that is all I have as in the best items that I currently own. So all of these are fully infused items as well, if that makes a difference. So just wanted to mention that. And the augment that I'm going to be using is the precise augment. And this provides a 0.75 attack, crit, and haste. And I have this exact augment on all of my items. Every single item I have equipped is using the precise, which is an epic rarity augment. So it can take a little while to obtain if you're trying to go for it, but I wanted to kind of compare it across the board on the different items to see what it provides for each item and hopefully kind of figure out what augments to go for per what item you're using. As I mentioned, this does provide an attack, crit, and haste. So those are what we're going to be focusing on on each item. Let's start off with the first one, which is the Phoenix Blade of Nolgath. Now, this is a legendary item, and this is a 980 power. You'll notice right here, now, of course, the Phoenix Blade of Nolgath 2 only has two stats at its base, and that is the health and attack. As you can see, the Attack has been sufficiently boosted, which is very nice to see. It's given over 200 more attack. It also has an additional 200 crit and 200 haste. So very nice setup for this blade. Next, we have the armor. And the Lotus Defender armor is a rare, not a epic or a legendary, unfortunately. But it is at 900 power and you'll notice the haste here has a 1.9 this might seem a little odd because the phoenix blade of nogath which has the exact same is providing 200 over 200 haste and crit whereas in my armor is only showing 100 shouldn't that be 200 now my assumption is that because this is a rare it doesn't provide as much for the haste same with the crit it's only given a hundred more crit and a hundred more haste which means the attack is probably only giving a hundred as well since they're all perfectly even this is my assumption i have not yet had this confirmed however if this was an epic rarity i think this might be giving more now this might not be the case it might actually be the power level that is affecting it that i'm not too sure that's still something kind of up in the air but that's kind of what this video is about so next we're doing the lotus defender helm as you can see again it's providing 109 crit and haste and this is similar of course to this which is why i'm fairly certain it is linked to the item rarity not the power but I, again this i might be completely wrong it might be invested on the power it might be a coupling of both now this could also be partly to do with the level this is a level 44 and my armor set is a level 43 so perhaps the reduction of what the augment is providing is based on the level or a combo of multiple things i'm not exactly sure but anyways so this does provide an additional haste crit and attack on this for the helm we have an additional attack 
haste, and crit. Again, small portions, but when you combine them all, it might make a difference, which is another thing we're going to test in this video. We also have this one here. This has a very nice crit, in fact, very low attack, but it would have been giving at least 100 more to the attack, and the haste as well has been given more on top of that, so kind of a nice little package. For this one here, this is the belt, and you can see right here the crit, which would be non-existent before, is now visible, and this is giving 109. Haste has gone up, but what confuses me here, where's the attack? There is no attack here, and this is confusing for me because the thing is supposed to pro provide an attack. And since these items right here do not give a crit, yet the crit is visible, why isn't the attack visible? Uh, so next is the cape. Now this is a legendary and a level 42 requirement. So let's see if the, what this provides, you know what sucks about this is I have no idea what the base value of this was prior to this. So I can't tell you what this would provide on top. There is no change when it comes to the attack. No, no attack visible on this, which I find odd that it's doing that, but perhaps we can get an explanation in regards to that. Next, we have the gloves. And again, it's hard to see what the changes are here, but 90% sure that it is affecting all three of the stats because the stats do exist on this thing right here. So it's nice that they are giving. Now there is small value when it comes to the attack. You're not gaining a whole lot extra attack. However, you are definitely gaining more crit and more haste on, I think everything we've shown so far has had crit and haste. Again, no attack here. So it seems like the items that don't provide an attack build, uh, an attack stat will not be granted one, unlike the crit because some of these items do not have crit, like the boots, for instance. If you check these other boots, you'll see no uh, no crit yet here. Bam! So that is the setup I'm running. This provides me with these stats right here. I mean, this is sucky compared to what I could do if I was using a much better armor set, if I had the time to actually farm better armor set, but I suck. Okay, so... What I want to do is I want to compare it from the augmented stats to the non-augmented stats and see what the difference is. So I'm going to be heading into the ninja dojo and going up against one of these dummies here to compare the two. All right, so this is on the live server. We're going to be using our auto attack first and then comparing it with the other one. So this is just using auto attack. And we're going to be comparing this, of course, alongside. What I can do is I'll actually do a split screen. One side showing the live and then the other side showing the PTR and kind of comparing the two. I think the main things to focus on would be the attack speed and the number of crits. Because what the crit does is it doesn't increase the damage output of a critical hit. It increases the chance of a critical hit. So you can kind of compare the two here. So there's gonna be a visual comparison between the two showing you with the auto attack what the difference is, is. So this is for the auto attack, as I've said. Now we're gonna be changing it up. Now keep in mind, haste does not change the speed of the skills. It does change the speed of the auto attack and as well as affecting cooldowns for gl like global cooldowns, but not skill cooldowns. Those are still based on their skills and that's, you know, nothing affects that. So next we're going to be using the first ability and this ability is the only one I'm going to be using. I'm not going to be using other ones because it'd be too hard to compare. So let's start with that right now. And we'll be, every time that that gets a cooldown, we'll be applying that again. And you'll be able to kind of compare the, between the two of them to see what the difference is between those. I won't be able to make a comment on both of them because unfortunately I won't be seeing the differences, but hopefully this visual comparison will be enough to kind of show the difference if there is any difference between 
what the augment is doing and you know what it's not doing and we can see if it's if it's actually making a difference to the damage output overall i mean damage per second i should say because it's not like it it wouldn't necessarily be affecting the most damage dealt it's more about the damage per second that you could be dealing and i think it will be affecting it because it has a haste increase on every item and the crit increase on every item makes a difference so but there we go i think that is good enough for the visual comparison hopefully it does help showcase the augments the capability of the augments and keeping in mind of course there are a lot of other augments that you could go for i mean some of them are health builds some of them are more a defense build you also have one that is an attack and health augment build as well so you certainly do have your variety of which ones you want to do which ones you want to focus on and i think that's where it really shines even if it's not making a huge difference it will be making a small difference to the thing i mean perhaps larger than we think especially in unscaled areas or the new scaled areas the old scaled areas still aren't really affected much by stats but the new scaled areas are actually affected by stats as well of course as the unscaled things and dungeons when you're running them in private and whatnot so that'll also be nice as well to have those but that is it for the video hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching we'll see you guys in the next one